Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Ted, hanging out with Dave. So uh, today we're going to talk about uh, player tip, why it's important to give a good character description. But before we do, check out the newsletter in the description below where you can get weekly tips from Nerdarchy as well as learn how to game with us. So, I've found that, you know, over our rich gaming history, you know, somebody somebody new comes to the table and I'm like, oh, I'm playing a dwarf fighter and that's all you wind up ever getting. You know, you might find, oh, well, I'm wearing this armor or I'm wielding this weapon. But I feel a lot of, a lot of people don't really get into... Well, what does your character look like? I, there's that, but I also feel like there's the opposite of that as well, where, like, the very first time that character the player goes to talk and use their character, like, they go into the description first. I've seen that as, you know, often as well. Okay. It, and it, it, it's good because it helps, it helps you visualize, you know, the person, you know, across the table from you in the game. You know, as opposed to the the player, right? And and most times we're going to be very different. You know, player versus character. Um, you know, my my character in your game, you know, he's he's a, I, I describe him as like a friar tuck. Mm-hmm. You know, he's a little bit shorter than average. You know, de- definitely portly around around the belly. He spends you know too much time eating bread and reading books. You know, so he's. He's got an okay constitution because he eats a lot, but he's not very dexterous and he's not very strong. Now, and and I feel like if I just say I'm playing a human cleric and I'm wearing half plate, you know, people are going to go to like the typical adventurer of someone who's in in decent decent shape, looking able, heroic, you know, lo- looking heroic, and like that's not what I see when I you know when I play this 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 character, um, you know. And I feel like you know when I look around the table, like I'm, I'm visualizing more the players sometimes than the actual characters at the table. Like again, going with your game, do you have a good idea of you know what Torg looks like? I, I actually kind of like do like I like I impose my own visualizations over the over the characters. You know, like Ryan's Dragonborn, I, I kind of see. Yeah, I see. You know, typical looking Dragonborn, except for you know his skin color is off because he's like a pale white with, right. that, you know, with that pearlescence going through his scales, mm-hmm. and he's always has his hood over because he's so conscious about how he looks. And, and you know, and for some reason, I always picture him with a book in his hand, even though he's a <laughs> sorcerer and not a wizard. But you know, he's kind of like an ac- academic, right? And you know, that that's where our characters are. Mm-hmm. are you know, fairly well linked. They we're, we're both studious. We're both interested in taking notes. Um, now, Bloodfang on the other, Victus, Victus Bloodfang on the other hand, his bodyguard. I did not have a good visualization of that character until he started playing him for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, Alan's a, a little bit more uh, introverted and shy as as a player, which is fine. Um, but you know. He, you know, what he started doing was like lopping off the head of every monster he, he uh, <laughs> he's defeated or they've defeated, and he's and he and he's turned it into a piece of armor armament for himself. You know, so you know he's as the hulking dragonborn. So I see him as you know like over seven foot tall, as as massively you know proportionate as, as possible because he's actually. At seventh level, he's broken the boundaries of, of strength. Uh, of strength, he's got a twenty-two. You know, he fights with a great sword, which you know, I I feel like when he goes into combat, that like he, he swings it with deft ease. Like you know, he could probably wield one a one hand. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, and that's just that that's my visualization, but that's from like. His combat and his abilities are what I know, not from any any description. See, now to add to that, I see a dragonborn snout poking out uh, from beneath uh, his ankeg helm, mm-hmm. right? So very insectoid looking, and then he's got these large uh, pauldrons on his shoulders that are actually uh, dranther skulls, right. which which are like a. Um, uh, a, a dragon cat, you know, for lack of a better word. Yeah, yeah, basically, sm- yeah, much smaller drakes, but very large for, uh, 
you know, for an animal. Right. He's small for a dragon, large for an animal. You know, and, mm -hmm. and he, you know, he ta he's taking their skulls and bleached them and just mount mounted them onto his shoulders. Uh, you know, so so he likes to do do that. So like, I get I've gotten a more of a, a stronger visualization for his character as time has gone on, and as he's done things kind of unique for his character. Mm -hmm. Um. So and then you know then again we do have players who really just don't really describe their characters very much so it's like you don't have anything to go on. So like you know Tom and Torg, you know the the bard and the rogue, like you know a lot of what they do, you know they they've fallen into support or you know little niche sections, and I don't I don't feel like you know no no offense to the players I'm not trying to add any insult it's just I don't I don't feel that they've they've stood out. In any in any great regards, and I don't have any kind of you know purposeful description of them. Like if anything, if if I was hard pressed, I'd be like, all right, well, Tom is very run of the mill, you know, and purposefully so. Yeah, well, yeah, because with Tom, like his character is much more colorful through his actions mm -hmm. that you know than his description, and and. And, and, and so that creates like a character profile for him based on his personality because he always tells these long exaggerated lies that gets caught <laughs> Ka is like kind of like his hallmark you know but that doesn't say what he looks like Th you know that doesn't help us visualize him and like you know going to for the you know the player tip of this is like think about your character like think about the gear he's got on think about what he looks like you know if he's got a, if he has high stats or low stats how would that affect his appearance you yeah, know if if you have a low wisdom you know you could really have a glossed over look and and purposefully you know have it where it's like okay when when stuff is happening that isn't drawing your attention you could literally just be like all right i I zone out. This is this is dull for me. Um, when you know when you create your character, you should write a character description. I mean, even if it's only a couple of lines, uh, you know, uh, you know, I, I'm positive I have one written down for Uthengar. You know, um, I don't know how I don't remember how in depth I went at, the, at this time, but you know, like you're going to want based on their you know their background choices if you're playing fifth edition dungeons and dragons based upon their class choices you, you know, know your, your race your background and your class are 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 a sentence if you say that i'm playing a dwarven soldier wizard or a hill dwarf soldier soldier wizard you know that's going to automatically say well as a hill dwarf you've got armor so it doesn't matter what your class is you're wearing armor mountain dwarf sorry sorry mountain dwarf my apologies um, Your so, name will go on the Book of Grudges forever. <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty bad since I'm the DM. Uh, You're going to have a grudge against the DM? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Doors are stubborn. <laughs> so by saying that, it's already starting to fill in information. So if your first sentence is just that, I am playing a blah, all right, well... Now, are you stereotypical or are you not stereotypical for your race? You know, are you doing something that is out of the norm or or mainstream? You know, once you start going down in, into into depths of what it is you're doing, you're going to be able to define that, you know, much, much easier. I, I opted for more, you know, the Friar Tuck-esque thing because I've got a low strength, I've got a, a low dex, and it's like, well... Why is he so so weak? Why is he so clumsy? clumsy? No, I mean he's not. I mean he's got a ten deck, so I mean he's average. But it's like, well, what if he's just bigger and having to move his his mass is just too much work when he's used to just turning pages? So I was like, this is this is much much more fitting for my my character than to be like, well, he's you know frail. I didn't want to go frail. That didn't that didn't. That that's used too often for a low strength. So I'm like, well, he's just fat. There we go. <laughs> Walking is a challenge. <laughs> he's got a lot so, of weight to move around. Yeah, you know, over the years, you know, he, uh, you know, he does his adventuring stuff, and you know, when it's downtime, he's got to build those calories back up. <laughs> you know, he, again, too, like you know, the height and weight fill that out and go. Okay, well, I want him to be this tall this tall by this amount amount of weight and then go look at his stats well how does that how does that correlate right it, you know to to the stats does it match up does it not match up 
you know, do, is there certain colors that you always like to wear? Is the character absolutely? You know, are you missing a hand or an eye? Like thing, you know, things like that. Do you have identifying marks, whether it be tattoos or scars or ritual scarring. Uh, do, you, you know, do you have a beard? How do you wear your hair? Are you, you know, clean shaven and bald? You know, all all of these things, you know, make make a difference. And you know, not only you know on on your description, but how certain people are going to interact. You know, this is this is kind of like a chance to have fun with your character too, especially if you're not like a strong role player. Uh, maybe you're a little shy or introverted. Like you can, you know, you can do, totally describe your character in third person, and, and it's another it's a way to kind of like ease into 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 that skill set if you know if you want to become a better role player at the table and brush up on your role playing skills you know and if you have it written down in front of you it'll make it so much easier so like the, the biggest part of this tip is when you create a character you know, take some time to visualize that character and then take that visualization and put it on your character sheet and you know maybe you need to revisit it revisit that before each session until you feel feel like that character like you know i Part of role playing is you like, you want to try and like view the world through that character's eyes and immerse yourself in in the world you guys are playing in, and, and you know part of that is trying to think the way that character would think as opposed to the way you think. Absolutely. Yeah, you know, and, and like I guess that's you know the role of an actor kind of, and, and it it can be kind of weird if you're you're not used to it. If all you want to do is kill monsters, that's that's fine, but if you want to do more role playing and RPing. You know, a big step is trying to figure out who that character is, how he evolves, and I think the you know knowing what the character looks like and really having in your mind's eye uh, a visualization of that character is going to you know, just push your role playing forward. One hundred percent agree. So, what do you guys think? How important is it to uh, have a good character description for your for your players or for your PC? Uh, put your thoughts and feelings down in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can tweet at us over on Twitter. So until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.